Second Chapter Lesson Number 7 The Various Elements of Your Show The Gradient Second Part In the first part of this lesson, we saw how to create a layer of gradient type, and how to give its basic form through the first three insert. We gave our gradient, a linear basis, starting from white to black, from the left edge to the right edge, with an angle of zero degrees. Give back this form to our gradient, and see that fourth insert. This is the part that you can change the color of your gradient, add new ones, and delete them. In the upper part, you have three buttons. The symbol plus, you can insert a new key value. The new key will always be created in the center of the space between the selected key and the key to its right. It is an exception. If the last key to the extreme right is selected, then the new key will be created in the space to the left. You can spot the selected key, it has a blue outline highlighted. You can also add a new key by double-clicking the desired location on the control bar of the gradient. Click the plus to add a new key. The new key was created in the center of your gradient, color present in this place has been assigned him, and it is she who is now selected. The symbol less can simply remove the selected key. You can also right-click on the key to be deleted, and select the cut or delete in my context menu. You can never remove the two keys at the ends of your gradient. Suppress the central key. The third button, reverse, allows you to return your gradient. This amounts to give a mirror effect. This command is not especially useful for the use of linear type, since you can return it with the rotate command menu gradient setting, but for all the other type, which it cannot be returned, but simply rotated. Back in normal mode, and add a key in the center of the gradient. Just below the preview window and editing for your gradient, you have control of color modification. The first is color, you can edit the color of the selected key. Select the central key. To do this, made a single click on it. Like all the color editing control, you have a preview window for it, and a command button to open the editing window color. Click on it to open the editor. We will assign the color red to this key. We have seen in previous lessons, how to use this editor. Just for information, the pure red color have the RGB value, 255, 0, 0. Shut the color editor using the new color to the key, and see the result. We now have a tricolor gradient, starting from white to red and from red to black. We always talk in the normal sense of redding, that is to say, from left to right. You can change independently all the colors in your gradient by selecting them one to one, and using the color editor for each. See the following command, Opacity. It allows you to set the level of transparency of the gradient at each key. To 100% opacity is total, and you only see your gradient. Enter the value 50 inches the digital box, or, set with the slider control, for the central key. You will find that now, red is semi-transparent, it is rather rosy, we see the image of the background, in this editor, the checkered board transparency, and the opacity is also decreasing from white to red, and from black to red, with white and black completely opaque. Now adjust the opacity of the red key to 0%. This value, the red has become completely invisible, and is now the gradient from white to transparent, and then, from transparent to black. This is very interesting, if you want, for example, create a cloud effect. You can give all the desired effects with this editor, and not having afterwards, using either the function mask or chroma key function, and thus save the memory and speed up the process of rendering your show. Forgive the opacity to 100%. The third command. Position allows you to set the location of your key. Transverse instrumentation is expressed as a percentage of the total development of your gradient. 
To do this, you can either enter the desired value in the digital box, either click the key you want to move, hold the click and move the key to the desired value. Keep the red key selected and set to a position of 25%. As we have said, the gradient is created from left to right, and then, at 25%, the key will be at the top left corner of your gradient. As we have also said previously, the first and last key are not reducible, and also immovably. Made a test. Click on the first or the last key, hold the click and move there. You will notice that the key does not move, but a new key to the same values it was created, and it is what you move now. The last command is a menu, it allows you to define the type of color encoding you want. You have the choice between types, HSV and RGB. Originally, it was the HSV option is selected. See different possibility create gradient. For example, a series of rainbow. Or, a reflective metallic effect. Click OK to make the change in your gradient or chancel to exit the editor without changes brought to the gradient. The gradient layer type has the same properties as a solid color. It cannot be used as a replaceable layer styles or template projects and the mask option will only be available if there is at least a second layer in your slide. Tag layer setup is the same as for a picture type, with the same functions. See, for example, a result obtained only with a gradient layer type, and the use of changing settings in the adjustment tab. Another example using only gradient in an image. Based on this example, here is a simple style slide with only the component. and another with just some solid color, gradient, and a second layer picture. In the next lesson, we will see the last type of layer. Thank you for your attention.